Um, so for this example, we're assuming that the the load is shorted. So all of the terms representing the load kind of go to zero. You end up with this guy here. Kind of the curves that we're interested in are shown here. So this is actually a pretty important um, figure uh, from the book. We can we can ignore the other two curves for now. Uh, those are um, curves representing normalized uh, voltage and current. So just keep in mind here that this is like a normalized impedance. It's normalized with respect to J times the characteristic impedance. They're all normalized like this so they can all fit on the same graph. But So on the bottom we essentially have you know our position on the transmission line. So right at the load that's at you know Z equals zero. And at the load the load looks like a short circuit. I mean that's how we derive this expression. But as we move away from the load, we no longer have a short circuit. So you can see here that at some, you know, some distance away from the load, some fraction of the wavelength away from the load, the impedance is not zero as it would be for a short circuit. So we no longer have a short circuit. So like this is super critical. So if you have a transmission line connected to a short circuit, um, you know, and say this is point A, if we measure the impedance looking into here, of course the, uh, you know, the load impedance is going to look like it's zero, like a short circuit. But if we take our measurement at, say, point B, and we look in here, so it's not necessarily going to be equal to zero. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Um, and actually, when we go to a quarter of a wavelength, we end up sort of in a, a situation where we don't look anything like a short circuit. We now It now looks like an open circuit. And then if we, if we move a little bit further, I sort of Let me just uh, increase my transmission line here. Let's say that we move all the way up here to half a wavelength. Um, so let's say that somewhere up here, A, B, C, D. I need to look in. All of a sudden, we see the short circuit again. So you can see that it uh, repeats itself every uh, half a wavelength. So that's all I'm trying to, to show here. I know that there's three plots on here. It's, it's somewhat. Uh, it obstructs what we're trying to see here in terms of the um, transformation of the impedance along the transmission line. Um, another important point is that kind of between z equals zero and a quarter wavelength, our transmission line actually looks inductive. So when you look at the um, reactance of capacitors and inductors, they kind of, you know, this one's positive, this one's negative, right? So the top one is, you know, the reactance for an inductor. The bottom one is the reactance for a capacitor. You can see that the reactance for a capacitor is negative and the reactance for an inductor is positive. So um, this is kind of the positive range and this is the negative range. You can see that from 0 to pi over 4, we look inductive. And then from pi over 4, from pi over 4, to pi over 2, we look capacitive, which is incredible. So again, so if we measure at point A, we see the, the short circuit. If we measure at point B, and we're assuming point B is somewhere in this range here, we actually see an inductor when we look in. Um, when we get to a quarter wavelength, which is point C, so I guess point A, point B, point C, and then point D. When we get to point C, we look in, we see an open circuit. We have another point here called uh, E, say right there, point E. We take a measurement of the impedance looking in here, and we actually see a capacitor. So it's pretty incredible, and a lot of people don't have very good tuition for, in, or sorry, intuition for, um, you know, for this kind of stuff. So oftentimes you'll hear people refer mm -hmm. to RF engineering as sort of black magic, and this is what they mean. Um, you know, you're you're taking a measurement of of an antenna and maybe you have one cable like one coaxial cable of a certain length you take a measurement and you know you take your reading and you have your 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 plot of the impedance looking into the antenna and then you retake the the measurement with another cable of a different length and you have a completely different measurement right it's uh, can be pretty frustrating if you don't understand what's going on um, so this is super critical of uh, a network analyzer uh, like a vector network analyzer, VNA.
Uh, they're used to uh, to measure the VSWR, the reflection coefficient, impedance, and stuff seen looking into, um, you know, uh, into a network, whether it's an antenna or or something else. And um, the the, ve the vector network analyzers they sweep in frequency. You know, you set up your frequency range that you're interested in. You know, so in, in this example here, um, they have, let's say, you know, uh, some type of transmission line, maybe a coaxial cable, short it. Um, they set their VNA up to sweep from 1 to 4 gigahertz, and at 1 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz, 3 gigahertz, and 4 gigahertz, it looks like a uh, short circuit, but at, you know, at these frequencies here, it looks like an open circuit, and then at the frequencies in between, it looks like something completely different. So, yeah, this is just basically saying the same thing, except it's highlighting the, um, the variation with frequency, which is critically important, and, um, you shouldn't lose sight of that, you should always remember that. So here's the same thing again, but with an open circuit. Um, so again, at z equals zero, z equals zero, right at the load, right at the open circuit, it looks like an open circuit. Remember, we're looking at this guy here. Should be half a wavelength away. It repeats itself. Um, sorry, I should say this. It's half a wavelength. So, half. A, there it is here. So it looks like a, a wavelength uh, right at, uh, looks like, sorry, it's getting late and it's Christmas Eve. Um, it looks like an open circuit right at the load and then half wavelength away, it looks like um, an open circuit again. A quarter wavelength looks like a short circuit. So it's the same plot that we, that we just seen only this time. It's starting off with the um, open circuit. 